Hey guys, how's it going? Webhub Sisinti here and in this video, I'll basically teach you on how you can get the right set of audiences who are extremely active on LinkedIn and add them to your connections. Yes, well, there is one way that I've already taught you in the last module where I spoke about how you can like, uh, you know, steal connections, uh, steal active followers from your competitors. But in this video, the reason why we did that was basically they were active people who were active on LinkedIn. But in this video, I'll actually take you through the process of collecting active people who come on LinkedIn without going through any of that process of stealing people, right? Let's say, okay, I'm probably making it very complicated for you guys. But think about this, you want people who come on LinkedIn every day to be a part of your following because people who are coming to LinkedIn are getting added to your profile. As a result, you are engaging, they are engaging with your content that you're creating or they are act, they're sending replies to your messages that you're sending, right? That's the only way to do it. Because if they are not on LinkedIn actively, what's the whole point of having them at all? Right? So this is a video I'm going to teach you on how you can get these people. The first thing that you would need for this is basically, give me a second. All right. So the first thing that you need for this is basically sales navigator. Well, for, if you have sales navigator, it's well and good. If you don't have sales navigator, um, you can get a free version of it. There's a video that I've created uh, teaching you how you can get sales navigator unlimited for life for free in the next module. So don't worry, I mean, in, probably in the last module. So don't worry about it. Right. Sales navigator is pretty expensive. If you have it, it's well and good or else you can have 30 day free trial, right? Click on, once you have sales navigator, click on sales navigator. Let me do that. Uh, let me, let me think, let me say that I want to be add people for marketing. Uh, obviously that's the best search that I have, right? Once I tap on this, this thing comes up and you can see there are loads of people with marketing. So you basically have to short it down to a smaller number, right? Let's say, let's make geography as San Francisco. All right, look at that. Seven lakh people. Look at the seven lakh people who are marketers in San Francisco. Isn't that insane? All right. If you have a few companies specific, you can choose them to. If you have industry specific, you can choose them to. Let me say, let me choose internet as the industry here so that I can have a lot of startups. Again, you, I, mean, I keep saying internet is the word for a lot of startups. Well, let me tell you another thing if I've missed out in the past, let me just reiterate uh, LinkedIn uh, sales navigator only shows up up to like a uh, thousand results. It doesn't show unlimited results, though it says 49,000 here. You can scroll only up to 100 or uh, you cannot scroll more than that. So your search has to be more specific. See that in this case, it stops at 40 because it's probably loading around uh, 25. So it stops at 40. But again, right, it loads a maximum of 100 beyond 100. In this case, you can see after 40, there are no more pages, though it says there are 49,000 total results. That is why you always try to narrow it down to a smaller number. All right. So Internet, let's say I'm looking for smaller startups rather than bigger ones. Uh, let's say I'm looking for self-employed digital marketers, right? These are people who always have the urge to learn a lot. All right. So now we have a smaller number in San Francisco, people working in internet based startup who are marketers. This basically means they are founders too, or digital marketing consultants are basically are people are running digital marketing agencies, right? Uh, you can see the options here. 67 people have uh, changed their lobby in last 90 days. Um, irrelevant for us. Three people have been mentioned in news in last 30 days. So these three people are real influencers. Well, not something that we want as of now. And this is the most important one. 180 people posted on LinkedIn in last 30 days. That means all, all these 180 people have at least logged in into LinkedIn in last 30 days. So these are really good set of audiences that I would want to have on my profile rather than having all the 605 people. Because you can see out of 605 people living in San Francisco, only 180 people are active. That is less than 30% of the total audience are actually active on LinkedIn. In fact, they just have logged in in past 30 days. If we make it a 90 day window, it probably will uh, become smaller. But again, this is the best possible uh, people that you can have 
on your list so now that you have come to this number again guys like if you want to add all the marketers all you have to do is keep changing cities here instead of countries keep changing cities for example instead of san francisco let me add uh seattle boom let me see you can see only 36 people now right you can keep playing with these uh numbers so that you get a solid number here in fact let me add 11 to 50 as well let's see where it gets to 254 once you start playing with this right you'll get a fair idea you can see 432 people in great seattle who have uh, who are working in a startup because 11 to 50 that basically means it's a small startup if you really want to take it a notch sharp you can go to one more thing now you have 624 people right let's say you want to add all these 624 people into your connections now you there is no way in the last video in one of the videos i've showed you phantom buster is the tool that we use to get all this data but there is no way phantom buster is capable of uh, to only pick up these active guys in this tab one if you put this url in phantom buster it'll actually get all this 2777 people rather than these 624 right but we need this 624 only so for that we are going to use linkedin uh, linkedin helper now again this point that i've been that i've mentioned before i'd be like weber you asked me not to use linkedin sales navigator uh, sorry linkedin helper why are you using it again again guys try try creating an account uh, a, a secondary account which is not your primary one in i mean uh, sign up for 30 day free trial of linkedin sales navigator get this data don't use it on your own profile we are just using sales Nav linkedin helper and sales navigator to get to these people again guys automation is not safe i'm um, again uh, warning you so if you're trying to experiment it's all good and safe all right so uh, in the last video i already showed you how to install linkedin helper again the reason why i'm using linkedin helper is it's giving me 28 days free trial uh, in 28 days free trial i can scrape up to like 30,000 people or in fact 50,000 people for my next six months of data with just 28 day free trial of linkedin linkedin helper all right uh, so the other beauty of linkedin helper is it doesn't care how many linkedin profiles you're using it with all it cares is are you using it on the same computer right so you can basically if you really want to go for a paid version which i don't think you would need you can just uh, talk to 10 of your friends and pay a dollar per month to get linkedin helper but any which way is that is not something that we want now all right so let's try to get these 624 people right for that you click on these three lines go to second and third levels and collect select and activate uh in invite second and third connections tap on that I would say close because I don't need this. All right, there's a demo for course. I'll just create a new one. Course demo. Create. You can see there are zero connected. Now that we are on this list, all we have to do is click on collect contacts for inviting. Boom. You can see it has started the process. You can see the counter here, the counter that's going on. All right. It has collected 25 contacts already right again it's it's stopping for three four settings se seconds randomly and then it is loading the next page but again right if you're using this on a secondary profile it's absolutely fine i don't think there's anything to be worried about because even if the even if linkedin bans you it's banning your secondary profile not your primary profile all right it it took less than two minutes to collect 125 active people in fact less than 60 seconds to collect 125 marketing folks in seattle working in in startups and who are active on linkedin how awesome is that this is pure power guys this is pure power all right all right once i have all of them i would click on stop collecting i would obviously click on stop collecting once this is done it will automatically stop for but for this example i'll click on stop collecting contacts so i did that all right now you have all these connections what do you do with them you have to send them invites how do you send them invites yes you can send them invites on linkedin helper but the problem with that is you are using linkedin helper on your primary account which you don't want to do why it is not safe i've told you this right so all you have to do is basically download this list click on view collected it will swap the whole list you can see there are 225 people i'll click on the select all button so it has selected all the 225 people and download selected boom all right download csv file all right you can see all the files 
all the uh, all the list of people that have been downloaded now all you need is this that is profile url so i'll end up deleting this and this so that i have nice list of profile urls now you can see that all these profiles are actually not linkedin uh, you know regular urls it actually sales navigator urls that is if you don't have linkedin uh, you know uh, linkedin sales navigator you won't be able to access this urls at all right so in the next video i'll basically teach you how to convert this though i've already taught you i'll just run you through how to convert this urls into the regular ones that is regular profile urls and then from there we will basically send them invites i've already taught you almost all the ways that you can send invites to people so you can pick as many as you want but let's talk about it in the next one see you in the next one